Very interesting. I'm going to sit here and just get a little emotional break. I wanted to have you guys articulate the fact that you have no legal reason for kicking out. It was a public event. You excluded me. It was a public accommodation. You weren't selling tickets. And you harassed and assaulted me. I didn't harass and assault anyone else. It was not fair. Looks like they're closing down. Huh? Looks like they're closing down. They close the curtains and all that. But they're still peeking out. They're still peeking out. It's funny. Yeah, all these it's both sides. Not one. I don't see one white person there even though they get shot up more than anybody else. It's amazing. So this is just all politics. Most things these days is very true. Well, they use marks on groups like mine. They act all fake. You guys are fake. <laughs> Nightmare. Immigrants living in terror. Muslims refugees demonized. It's amazing. This is real propaganda right here. Uh oh. I think you might be in trouble, buddy. I think he's calling the cops. I think the scholar here is calling the cops on you. Maybe we should. Maybe we should grab some pussy. <laughs> this guy right here. I guess they didn't like him being here. According to him, he was harassed and assaulted, and now he's calling the police. I don't know who harassed and assaulted him. My guess is could be these guys. I could be wrong, but it could be these guys. This guy over here, he's calling the police, saying he was harassed and assaulted. Oh yeah, that's Ty Dacker. I know Ty. Dacker. Never heard of. Are the bookstore is still open or what? <laughs> Can you articulate to the police officer why I I bet their rule is we don't talk to Nazis. <laughs> hey, they're building a wall. They think you're the Marxism and communism. You're gonna keep That's all of them rapists and out, right? <laughs> All them bad people. No, what's funny is they think under communism they'll have this kind of privacy under Marxism. But under a totalitarian state they'll have this kind of uh, privacy. What a joke, you know what I mean? Under a communist government you're going to have privacy. What they know they're not going to have that, but it's no, worth... I mean, how stupid can you fucking be? It's worth acting this out now. But, or this little rabble group thinks you're going to take... Once it's gone, it's gone, so burn it up while you can, fellas. They probably think Che Guevara is a good man. Are you there? A, a racist. Hello? Anti-gay. He probably thinks it's a good man. They probably have T-shirts in there. He's got a so is this like some kind of pro-communist bookstore? Or oh, something? dude, this is horrible. I saw it on a live stream, but I never thought it would be this bad in person. Huh? Very interesting. I don't know. Understand? Like we're gonna do? Are they just going to enjoy their event? Like we're gonna come in or something? I well, they block the uh, public access in front of their store. I don't know if they have a permit to uh, put books on the public uh, walkway. Uh, they sent three goods out to prevent me from entering a public accommodation, which is a bookstore. I wanted to be a customer uh, and or listen to the um, advertisement that they have on your city streets. This is crazy. Yeah. And, uh, you know, uh, they arbitrarily started calling me names and uh, blocking access to a public accommodation. Uh, they want the, I have, I have a... Uh, I have let's see the let's see the reaction. Can I get a name, sir? He doesn't want to identify himself. He's an unidentified you know, flying object. They, were, well, they wouldn't identify <laughs> what one appeared to be, and either that they're an employee or they're acting as an agent. 
but they refuse to identify themselves. They're just goons. It's just a gang. I think they're convicts. Probably why they don't want to identify themselves. Let's get their PO officer out here. A very, very broad uh, definition of a fascist. Man. I mean, you can't prevent me from making that. This is crazy. I can see the guilt over their eyes. They know they're being immoral. Man, if you guys had a better idea, you'd be more inclusive. Woo! You guys don't have a better idea. You're not even inclusive at all. Can you guys stand a debate? They were disruptive on the outside, and they made it seem like I was the one who was harassing them. And that's what they do. Oh, let's control people and not have people talk and actually ask questions. I'm curious. You know that Milo had a QA? and a Do you guys have a QA and a here? Milo Yiannopoulos had a QA, and a the fascist racist that you guys talk about. Do you guys have a QA and a here? This is, this is anti... They want to indoctrinate people because they know their idea is flawed and they killed millions of people and they're racist and they're anti-humanity. That's why they got nothing to say. Uh, this is fucking crazy. Defend your genocide. Defend your genocide. What do you got to say? You can't defend it because there's nothing to defend. It's not defendable. Wow, this is amazing. Uh, the worst person is Miley Yiannopoulos here in Berkeley, and he has a Q&A, and these people can't even fucking... Well, they've got nothing. They can't open the doors up for other people's ideas. They've got nothing but... except All they've got is one of Trump's ideas, build a wall. That's all they have. That's amazing. All they've got is Trump's ideas, build a wall. man. I can tell you, I can tell you what my we all know who the real fascists are. Why did I choose to be a journalist? You, have, you guys can't have a free... I should have been a cowboy. You, can't, you guys can't debate. God, I wish I had my speaker right now. This is amazing. No, if you, look at, if you look at our rally versus their rally, we actually like let people talk if they really want we to We let talk. people talk. But in here, they don't. Because they know that they're... they're because they know they're wrong. They know they have no argument. They have no positive argument. There is no real... Sell it to me, damn it! Sell it to me! Uh, they're not selling it. <laughs> Get me on board! Or stay silent and I'll keep my opinion. Yeah, you guys are looking for sheeps. Really. At least on the other side they believe that everyone can be a leader. If someone wants to talk, I'll let you talk. Uh, you sell it to me. Come on, sell it to me. I'm willing to give it a try. There's nothing to sell. It's just all trash. You know, nobody buys trash. <laughs> but deep down, they are American citizens, and I would I want to give them a pat on the back for no, standing it. They went over to the government. It's okay. That's, nobody should be in jail. Nobody should be in jail. That's true. I give them a pat on the back for their effort, an A for effort. No, I mean, uh, they're, what they're doing is street, I mean, they've actually they will, but they're going to try, like, in November like this, the, Do you remember what they did to Cesar, Cesar Chavez? Like, they tried to accuse him of being uh, colluding with the Communist Party. And here we are, people are openly colluding with well, communism. They made a goddamn law in California now easy it is to look at a government uh, facility and not be part of it. A government facility, because they infiltrated everything. We're going to rout them out and we'll get them back out again. They're going to go to jail. What they are, they're nervous, we're exposing them. They hate that we're exposing exactly. them. Exactly. They're nervous as well. But we're going to keep exposing them, yeah, we're not going to stop. You guys will be exposed. You quit using groups like transsexuals and Hispanics and different groups to sit there and use this for your pockets and gender. You won't be using them. Here they are, exposed. Their only chance to, to is, is to come up with some kind of argument, and they got nothing. They, want to bring that hateful they got nothing. All they got is one of Trump's ideas build a wall. That's it. There's nothing else. That's kind of ideas. They're exposed now. They're, they had to work in silence, but now they're exposed and they're going to lose. And they're going to go to jail for the truth. I have to say, you know, I'm, it's usually a young group. Yeah, all future convicts go to jail for treason against this country. I would like to see. And they know it. They're, they're, believe me, they're pissing on themselves right now. Because they damn well know that's going to happen. And they're scared. 
Under communism, they will not be allowed to do what they're doing. They'll be jailed. They'll be jailed. But I'm just telling you, they're trying to bring down the biggest biggest nation in the world, in the history of the world. These guys are going to jail. And they know that they're nervous right now. They don't want us here. They're scared because of that reason. That's why they're so worried. They were using violence, but then they got exposed to the violence. Now they just decided here, all they can do, this is their desperate move, because you can't come to here and plans. They gotta make some kind of death throw, basically, like, last move, like November 4th, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because they know this, their little revolution's over. They know they've been exposed. <laughs> uh -huh. And they're done. And they're all nervous. Well, they don't they have, going to jail. they Maybe no they longer have public support. They don't have public they've, they've been and too they immoral, have, too they were, violent. They were trying to get these little enclaves, like get, you see Berkeley, use transsexuals, use all these people, and they know damn well they know I'm telling the truth. And they know their asses are going to jail. True? Yeah. Oh, you know, he's, he's one of them. Well, this is treason, but we're more tolerant of communists these days. Well, yeah, because they, they've worked their way in a soft, in a soft coup and stuff. That's what we got some liberals that are socialism and stuff, and they've worked their way into the softening it up, like California softening up. Yeah. California is in the entire United States, you know, and they're not going to put up with these guys. And these guys, I guarantee you, in five, ten years from now, these guys are, this whole party's gone. Nobody's going to go for this. I, I, really, I honestly stuff. believe that's guys, true. They're, they're done. In five, ten years, yeah. And, and they're nervous. There'll be no sign of them. They know, they know for a fact they're going to jail. You know, Democrats used to be considered the... Communist sympathizers, Democrats were oh, considered yeah. the communist sympathizers. They want to take your rights where you can't even be here. They hate I just don't understand. Like, you use your freedom to implement taking away freedom. Yeah, because that is just the most immoral they, thing I can think know. of, they, next to raping children or something. Uh, to, to use your freedom to take away freedom. Uh, to, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to try to make it. They try to set you and make it to where they're trying to say 